Hi, my name is Melissa and I've been a palliative care nurse for the last 20 years and over my career I've seen a lot of new research aiming to improve care for palliative patients. As a nurse working in palliative care, I work with patients who have a terminal illness like cancer. One of the goals of our unit is to alleviate pain, improve quality of life, and provide physical, psychological, psychosocial, and spiritual care. I care for many patients who are going through the last stages of life due to their illness. Mrs. Smith, in particular, is one patient who I cared for whose pain could no longer be managed by conventional pain management. Hi, Mrs. Smith. How are you feeling today? Not very good. Is, is it a high pain level, then? Very high pain. My mom's been in pain for the last three hours since we gave her medication. Is there any way we can increase the dose? We're currently at the maximum yeah, doses great. for all our pain medication. If we increase any more, it could lead to an overdose. In cases like Mrs. Smith's, where we have exhausted all other pain management interventions, there is current research showing an alternative method of pain management in the last phase of terminal illness. This is called palliative sedation. But there is another option, palliative sedation. Palliative sedation is where we use sedative medication that lowers your level of consciousness and helps to alleviate refractory symptoms, which are also known as those that cannot no longer be alleviated by other interventions. In palliative sedation, breathing may become more flavored and difficult. I know this is a lot for you to take in, but... No, I don't want to do that, because I feel like palliative sedation, like, it may shorten my mom's life again, instead of others. I understand why you're feeling that way, but with palliative sedation, there has been many various studies that have come to the conclusion that it does not affect the, the time that she has left, but it will help alleviate the pain until the time comes. I know this is a lot to take in at once. I'll leave you to discuss it, and feel free to ask me any questions. It is important when working in palliative care to provide health teaching to not only the patient, but their families as well. In most cases, it is the family members who are involved in the, in the decision-making process. There are some cases, like Mrs. Smith, where the family does not want palliative sedation. Communicating giving family members all the updated evidence-based research will help them make an informed decision that best suits the needs of the patient. When I later checked in with Mrs. Smith, her and her daughter decided to go ahead with palliative sedation, and she lived the last few days of her life pain-free.